Alrighty then, it is time to have a look at Dogecoin and what has been happening with Dogecoin over the past day and since last time when we looked at Doge. Now it has become apparent to me that a lot of you are fans of Dogecoin and if that is the case, leave a like on this video and do subscribe to the channel as we will talk about Dogecoin more if it is something which you guys do want to see. A lot of new subscribers joined yesterday so I do assume that you do enjoy Dogecoin content. Again, if that is the case, subscribe, let me know. Again, this is not financial advice i'm sure you do know that already but do join us on twitter as well as i do like to post on there whenever we have anything interesting and new again it is at n2s finance join us on patreon link is down below let us now jump in and look at how dogecoin has gone over today so we're going to start off now on these more simple yahoo finance charts as you guys will know we often do these days because it tells everybody what is going on in a very simple sense so basically, from midnight here in the United Kingdom, we've seen a price of Dogecoin actually uh, take a bit of an increase up until this point here. Now, this took us to about 28 cent, almost even 29. It wasn't to last, though, as we were there for a while here and a while there as well but obviously these points were not to stick and we were falling below that and again we took we saw we saw a little bit of an increase for a while up here taking us back up to the 26.3 range but that did not last and we dipped further and we went down to 23 and now we are coming towards about 9 p.m 10 p.m and we are seeing the price actually sat on about 25 so you know it's not been too bad again we are in the red today don't get me wrong down by about two percent but really it could be worse and one thing which i really want to hammer home is that in personally my in my opinion when we look out to the one week chart things start to make a lot more sense so initially we have had that long term downward decline for dogecoin ever since here at the about 70 cent mark and above there and again ever since then you know just a few months ago we have hit 70 then we came down to 40 we stuck at 40 for a while and then ever since 40 we have been falling ever so slowly before we took this big uh, steep step off a cliff and came down to about 19. now at 19 i actually believe that dogecoin was very undervalued valued as it had taken a massive decline and again the market so far has agreed obviously crypto wasn't doing too well at the time and dogecoin was no exception so i wasn't too worried because it was kind of reflecting the whole crypto market when we look out to the wider field now yes dogecoin has had that massive pump up to 70 cent you know so it was bound to see a bit of sell-off action anyway but with a poor crypto market at the time you know it just made things a little bit worse in my opinion but the past five days has been really good for doge so when we've seen this sell-off today and actually a bit of a pullback already but when we are seeing this small sell-off today i'm not too concerned because let's have a look at how much we are up in the past five days and just gauge a bit of context now let's have a look at how the whole crypto space is doing uh, over the past day and over the past seven days over on coin market cap so basically when we scroll down we can see a lot of our other cryptos have followed a similar trend we'll start off over here on bitcoin so bitcoin 24 hours is down by about seven percent ethereum very similar story around seven uh bnb same about 8.65 this time cardano ada is down by about 5.5 dogecoin down by about 1.2 so we can see that generally speaking from a trend pattern we've seen a very similar thing big fall in price bit of a recovery and then another small fall same over here for ethereum ever so slightly different though because it's never going to be the same as you can imagine but yeah pretty similar story here and here and here and you guessed it guys dogecoin as well so dogecoin kind of is following the whole market obviously it does have its own factors which make it an outlier to an extent but yeah it's one of the worst uh, it's one of the least affected rather of that sell-off that we are seeing in the past five days in the past day and also in the past seven days so please do get some context when you do look at this because i think the context here is quite important and that's just my opinion so we have a lot of articles over here on the Motley Fool talk about this stock is better uh, than crypto, this crypto is better than Doge or whatever it is. You know, all of these articles continuously saying this is going to get you richer than Doge, all of that sort of stuff. I just think it really is interesting because they have done this with AMC as well. You know, uh, with the AMC situation, this stock is better than AMC. AMC won't make it to 10 and then AMC is at 60 right now. So I'm not saying don't listen to them. You know, if you want to listen to them, obviously do what you will. Uh, but if you 
don't, all I'm saying is just look at where they have published information before and what they have published information on and just decide whether that is a source of information which you believe is reliable. Anyway, so Elon Musk tweeted earlier today about Shiba Inu, talking about his Shiba Inu which will apparently be called a uh, Floki, I believe it is, or something like that. So there we go, that is what Elon said. Obviously that is not about Doge, but it is Elon doing his thing again and surely that will have had its impact on Shiba Inu. But you know what guys, we are not here to talk about Shiba Inu crypto. Let's have a look at what Doge is signaling over the past 24 hours specifically and then move out a bit further. So we're seeing a moving average figure right now of about 26 cents. So clearly we are trading ever so slightly below that. Uh, we are seeing a RSI figure of 43. So we're coming towards the oversold side right now at the time of filming this video. So yeah, we're coming towards oversold. Yeah, we are not there yet. 20 is oversold. So 43, you know, it's not near oversold, but it is more towards the oversold side we did actually touch overbought a bit ago when we touched up here at 79 uh, but yeah that is what we are seeing so far we are seeing the MACD in the red for Doge so hopefully that can come back into the green soon past five days we are seeing a RSI figure of 50 so that's going to be a bit more stable because it is you know over the past uh, five day period so that's at 50 we're seeing the MACD ever so slightly red I do believe it down there and we're seeing actually Dogecoin move pretty true to the moving average over the past month we've seen a moving average of 36 and 9 so again that's slightly higher than where we are trading now uh, we can see a volume today of 5.84 billion i believe that is so that's pretty good pretty epic but we are seeing an rsi figure down here of only 42 so yes we are not oversold by a long shot but we're ever so slightly more towards our oversold than overbought just remember that 50 is neutral so 42 it's only eight points off neutral but it is ever so slightly towards the oversold and again the macd could be coming green soon but so far it is still under the line uh, let's hope that we can get a bit of a trend reversal and we can get this one back into the green ever so soon and that is what I'm saying, guys. A trend reversal with Doge absolutely could be coming. Yes, we are seeing five or six days of green now. Obviously, it's not been consecutive, but the past week is green. And I think this is a good sign. I think this is indicating to a bit of recovery with Doge. Let's just see how this one goes over the weekend because sometimes actually we have a lot more uh, growth over the weekend in certain instances than we do throughout the week. But obviously there are so many factors with Doge. It depends on what investors think. It depends on what Elon Musk tweets. And it just depends on little things like that which really can have a massive impact on the price. Anyway, that's just my thoughts. But before we end, I'm just going to say Doge is obviously a crypto. It's very rich risky and again it's not guaranteed to succeed i'm sure most of you guys are aware of the risks but i'm just going to say it again please do educate yourself on the risks of dogecoin so thank you for watching through till the end but let me tell you about our discord so on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously it is split into multiple sections. Basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon